We got ourselves team one. We have on the team one Tyrion, as more of the demonology, MML Prox, more of that feral action. Martin Windwalker as a I don't know. Could be a maybe a, maybe a brewmaster, maybe a mystery, you never really know. Necro? I guess we're gonna call him Necro. And Quill as another Windwalker versus what's your name? Vor. Oh Vor! Hey, how you doing? You got a bottles? Broken bottles for daggers? My man looking good looking purple we got ourselves glick glick with ramstein we got ourselves ganker and alfuera yeah i was gonna look at your name with some senior name bouncing up and down i was like actually <laughs> i do that old man squeezing my eyes to see better at the top right alfuera alfuera gonna be going up first versus necro of the bat rogue versus demon hunter sub versus dh Let's gonna go immediate trinket out of the sun trying to see if we get a setup on for a big dress to gather coming out right now was that a blood of the enemy setup doesn't look like it Alfura saying a less than half health less than ideal situation trying to go for as much self heals as humanly possible and necro is looking to get the hell out of there just trying to go for a bit of a reset Alfura backflip and trying to recuperate it back to his own side of the team does not have a trick anymore so that's a lot of chickens getting used very very quickly necro waiting now for the d out for the stun with up for still at about half health necro has a mark for death ready too this would be perfect saps available kidding shot in the open that's going to be necro trying to go in for a bit of a setup shadow strikes of inserts are available there's going to be a safeguard trigger for offer and necro is looking to get the hell out of there as soon as he's a safeguard looking for go for maybe a bit of a reset offer might be able to get a chance here to get a stun big old ivan to follow blade dance and backflip it away from the rogue another stun right after with a bit of a uh annihilate demon form available necro popping off a defensive with that evasion darkness coming in for offer does he have enough damage on the necro Oh no, he almost had him low, and Necro does go for the Warlock Hellstone provided by Tyrion. Actually, I wonder if you would have died right then. Actually, you're still bleeding. What is doing damage to you? Get a shot of Alfara. Does Necro just die to the Dodd? Are you looking to maybe take out Alfara as soon as possible? Maybe enough damage. Cheap shot. Looks like Necro stabilized for a second. Stun! And Alfara, I think, maybe taking him out. It looks like that's going to be one dead ass rogue, boys. Taking him out just like that. That's probably going to be the pet taken out. Alfera looks like he recovered a little bit of health, barely enough. Looking to give himself a life for a second. Mortal Coil running him out with a Mally. Nothing you can do about that. I think it's over. Unless Alfera can somehow heal himself right now, I think it's over. Flying up in the air, might be able to get away from some of the pets. Looking to bombard Tyrion, but that's going to be reflect for Tyrion. Let's swap it to the pet as soon as he saw that, but it looks like it's a little too late. <laughs> How did the rogue die just now? What was that bleed by Alfuera? What is that bleed? I need to know. GG rogue, dude. <laughs> DHG. That was clutch, dude. I don't know, right? <laughs> that was clutch. Yank is going to be up next as a sub rogue cheap shot sap onto the pet of Tyrion it is going to get that stun onto Ganker does throw for a trinket blood of the animal Tyrion but that dress gets split amongst so many pets going to be a full blown tyrant for Tyrion Ganker is going to go for a cloak of shadows by the looks of it the balloon is summoned we see that big old big old demon flying up in the air where is he at that's called the balloon or at least one usually calls him the balloon because it just hangs out there and apparently every time it hits you it goes higher and higher and higher it just it technically can be tagged it technically can be hit by the players but i think the reason Tyrion plays the balloon is because it has a lot of health so he probably does pops it out for the tyrant to get the most damage in it looks like Tyrion is gonna get that stun trade with Ganker. Ganker is not aware that Tyrion breaks out of the uh, his bed breaks out of the saps every single time in the opener. But it looks like the warlock might be done and done. The warlock gateway does keep him alive for a second longer. Does he have a warlock hellstone to deal with some of this dot damage on him? It doesn't look like he does. Mortal Coil onto the rogue does go for a port with a gateway as well, keeping Ganker over there busy with a pet resetting up another portal. As Ganker is just looking for a bit of a reset, gets a slow onto the pet, looking for a restell, does land one. If only Tyrion maybe came out and hit him with a curse or something to keep him in combat. Well, Ganker wasn't looking, that might have been a good setup too. Kidna shot with the defense stun right after. Does Tyrion have any kind of CC to follow? Maybe, it looks like he doesn't. Board is available, does get himself Warlock Hellstone for a moment. Cheap shot with the dress and Ganker does take him out. Eventually, the dress is going to eliminate you. The one thing for Warlocks, though, the more pets you have, when the dress comes out, the more pets absorb that dress. Because it's not just an insane amount of damage for everybody in AoE. It actually does a set amount of damage 
and that damage is split amongst anybody around you. It's not explicitly stated in a trinket, but that's how it's always been. That's why you ever see rogues like dip to the side if it's a pet class, dip to the side, hit them with a dress, hoping the dress only hits one target instead of them and the pet. Because then they take full, like what, 6,000 damage or so? Which is all physical, by the way. You can evade it, you can parry it, which is really, really weird. But that is something for you guys to remember, maybe for P-Patch. Speaking about trinkets, I really do hope Blizzard goes about with Shadowlands and just nerfs all PvE trinkets. Raid, dungeon trinkets in PvP by like 95%. Just nerf the effectiveness and disable certain things like cheat death mechanics like disable that or just disable them make us play only with pvp trinkets i think that'll get us a little bit closer to the product we want to see class abilities no scaling as balanced as it can be but i'm just just hoping here sorry for going off on a long tangent quill in quill Versus Ganker. Ganker mounting up. It looks like Ganker's just waiting for cooldowns, maybe? Yeah, I think he's just waiting for Shadow Dance at this point. Or Shadow Blades. Because he got Shadow... Is he playing sh one single... He's playing one dance... Charge of Shadow Dance. I've seen a lot of rogues play two charges of Shadow Dance. This gives, gives you more burst setup. But maybe if you play one charge of Shadow Dance, maybe with a full big burst setup. Like a Night Blade. That could be massive. Blood of the Enemy. Because now, since there's no more scaling, all that stuff really does stack with the guild that you can have. You really can have some massive bursts available. Yeah, can get him some Shadow Blades. Goes for a cheap shot on the Quinn. Big blood of the enemy. Look at me. One shot him. Does he get it, though? It looks like he does. <laughs> the big blood of the enemy. Mad eviscerates back to back. That's all it took. And the monk did have a trinket. He just didn't press it. Well, there it is, boys. Revenge POV. <laughs> oh no. Get a shot onto Prox. Does go for a trinket. Look at your get out trinket ganker. Gonna be shadow set blind onto Prox since he does not have a trinket ganker. If he gets himself another blood of the enemy, that's it, dude. They're done. Sap. And that's gonna be ganker having his way with Prox. Prox does come out with full damage uh, mitigation available. Wall, bar skin, everything. So it looks like ganker might just honestly sit in the cell the whole time. Until the next time he has a go. Prox might have to get aggressive here. Looking for the eyes. No trinket available. So it might actually put him back. He needs to save the Barkson for the right opportunity. He needs to be aware. How long has it been since Ganker had a uh, blood of the enemy available? Because it feel like. If you could just Barkson the blood of the enemy burst. Then I think you might be okay. Because you're definitely not going to have a trinket for it. So if you Barkson nothing. Ganker will just blood of the enemy you next time. Now it's a bit of a cat and mouse game. And Prox. Is basically on the receiving end of the punishment here unless you can somehow find ganker but ganker is just gonna i'm actually very surprised ganker is playing this super super carefully just sitting in stealth the whole time that's literally all he's doing the whole time he's just sitting in stealth cheap shot onto prox does go for the blood of the enemy the bark skin is there is that gonna be enough of the bark skin though it looks like prox survives the thorns available ganker is looking for a very defensive play going for the evasion prox looking to me push in right after him Perfect bark skin though. That's exactly what you needed. Glocus Shadow's available. Ganker though getting him so slowed down. Gonna be Ursals. Doesn't really get Ewing back into Ursals though. Bash with a big old dress back to Ganker. Ooh! Oh my god. Gave him a little bit of his own medicine just now. Got himself a own big old burst. What was that? Ramstein up next. Bumping up his pets. Old big and red. That's gonna be Proxy Think dead. Ho oh, oh. ho! The burst of unholy death knight. This is unreal with martin gonna be up next ramstein still has a lot of burst available karma immediately is martin's house is not looking that good at all it looks like ram is just not taking any of the karma karma actually went blasted through what <laughs> i like how the plays have been made in the last three minutes of this duel the big plays last three minutes go <laughs> it's like you guys were trying to speed run it <laughs> oh no Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no.